Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've come on here for just a minute or two to uh, put up a prayer request for somebody. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen Aubrey McCloskey in the comments. And I've shared some of the things that she has shared with me. Uh, she is saying now, I am trusting God to pull us through and protect us. My husband is sick again. My health as well has been attacked. Satan is coming at God's children more and more, but I stand in God's promise. No weapon formed against me or my family will prosper. Please pray for my family. My daughter is also developing a fear of everything. She, any little ache or pain she gets, she thinks she's dying. She is six, and it's totally out of the left field. Okay, I had said, Oh, wow, that is not good. Rebuke the demon of fear if you can without adding to it. Anoint her with the oil of peace. Try that. I don't know how much she knows or can understand, so it will depend on your knowledge of her level of understanding. See, Satan is out to steal, kill, and destroy us. He is, quote, wearing down the saints, unquote, as the Bible said. You will all be in my prayers. And I asked her, would you like me to do a video for you? Asking others to pray also. And she had told me uh, that would be so nice if you would. She had a nightmare the other night that she was pulling pink threads out of her skin. She said it was the underside of her skin coming out. This fear is so strange. She used to be fearless. My husband just got over an illness. Only people with HIV or cancer or extremely compromised immune systems have and is now sick again. I have been having strange illness too. More tired than usual. Just going in circles. Well, these are signs we know. These are part of the signs that we are at the end. It says that we Satan will do everything he can to wear us down. Why? He wants us to shut up and stop praying and just lay in our beds and chill out, listening to our music or uh, just doing something not all that strenuous, you know, fighting against him. So uh, what I'd like to do is I will... I'd like to pray for you now, Aubrey, and it'll be a general prayer, but the Holy Spirit knows, and I am sure that when people see this, they will they will also, too, uh, especially those who can pray in the Spirit, is the best way, because God truly knows what's going on with your daughter and your health and your husband's health. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you right now to put your healing hand upon Aubrey and her husband and whatever it is that he has Lord we ask you to kill that thing kill that virus bacteria whatever it is I ask you to kill it right now and cause it to cease and desist from harming his body any further we ask you Lord to build up his immune system so that he can also fight this thing that's going on whatever it is and give Aubrey and him the knowledge and the common sense maybe to look up for possible supplements that would help such a thing like take tons of vitamin C it will not hurt him and you too Aubrey and let the Lord lead you and guide you into what other things you can do to build up your immune system 
now praying for your daughter, I ask the Holy Spirit to come and touch her and anoint her, and I command the demonic spirit that's causing this fear to be gone from her right now in Jesus' name. I command it to leave her, leave her room, leave your house, and for her mind to be healed. I speak peace into this little girl. I speak whatever she used to be like, fearless, Lord. I speak that back into her the way she was before. Take away this fear, O oh Lord, and throw it into the pits of hell. For it's in Jesus' precious and holy name I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, and you pray over her. That way, you don't necessarily have to do it where she hears it. Anoint her room. You can anoint her and just tell her, Honey, I'm putting the oil of peace over you. And command that demon to be gone, stay gone, and ask the Lord to put guardian angels around her 24-7 and to be throughout your house as well. Now, when I pray for all of you, I do ask the Lord to keep guardian angels in your homes. And if you're in a multifamily dwelling like I'm at, I ask for warrior angels to walk the halls day or night. But see, I'm not really sure if me asking for you is doing it. And I ask him to uh, either show me Tell me if I need to teach on it or, te you know, lead each and every one of you into knowing to do these things. Because demons, if I'm not mistaken, aren't you the one that showed the pictures with the demons under your couch or behind your couch? And you have the sun that... <laughs> Now I can't remember the details. I might be mixing you up with somebody else. You had a couch full of demons, right? Well, there's you've got some lurkers, I believe. If you if I'm not confusing you with somebody else. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to end this here. You pray about that and ask the Lord to show you and tell you exactly what more you need to do besides what I said all right a lot of anointing praying casting out demons she's got a spirit of fear and where she picked it up you may have to have a conversation with her and just be real uh what's the word um like you're talking about her favorite toy Honey, when did this fear start? When What happened that caused you to start having this fear? I just So, like, it's not a big deal. You just want to know about it. That's usually how I would think you would deal with most six-year-olds. But I don't know your daughter. Okay, so you do. So you have might have to take to the Lord how to deal with this. Okay, but you can get rid of it. You have the power. You have the Holy Spirit. God has given us power. There's power in the name of Jesus, in the name of the blood, in, in the, the use of his blood, the use of his name. There's power in the word. Speak the word. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. You speak the word. Uh, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I command you to go, and you have to go right now in Jesus' name, and things like that. Okay, and I pray that helps. Everybody, please pray for Aubrey and her family and uh, her little daughter that's six years old and now under a spirit of fear. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you, your devices, my computer, your internet connection, so we can stay together until we're out of here. And let's all keep looking up and remembering who we keep our eyes on. Not the media, not the mainstream media. Don't even listen to them. They don't even tell you the whole truth. And let me tell you something. Let me remind you. Read, learn, believe Psalm 91. 
And someone else suggested Psalm 94, and I know there are others. Feel free to put them in the comment section. If you have your favorite uh, psalms or verses that give you peace when you start to get a little anxious about these headlines you're hearing. Okay? I'm not at all worried about this coronavirus. I don't care if it becomes a worldwide epidemic. If I drop dead, guess what? I'm in heaven. If I get raptured, I'm in heaven. Either way, whatever is God's will is my will is my, is fine with me. But I don't believe that would happen because I've already been told that I'm part of the bride. And those of you who know it, you know it. And it, if you got a death sentence, it's, let's just say the rapture wasn't we didn't believe it was near, but you went to the doctor and he gave your fourth stage pancreatic cancer and I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. How would you take that? My mother said, you mean I get to go home to be with Jesus? Hallelujah! She was so excited, it made my father sad that she wanted to leave him, you know. He didn't understand. He didn't understand. She was glad. I mean, that's the reaction we should all have. That we get to go home and be with Jesus. Don't fear death. We have no fear in death. We, we, oh my goodness. And just remember the promises of the Lord that he is going to take care of us. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come on me, for I will only look on with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. And that's that verse I said the other night, and you can believe it. If you want to doubt it, you you know, you're going to be doubting Thomas, or are you going to believe? It's up to you to decide. I choose to believe. The word of my Lord is true. His promises are true. And our God is not a man that he should lie. Remember that one too. All right. I pray that you all be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And I pray that it's any day now. Don't we all? Surely it is soon. All right, you all have a wonderful night or day whenever you see this, and I'll talk to you later.